This is Billy Billing. I'm here with Florence Fuller. She's the former owner and operator of the Pocket Billiard Lounge in Binghamton, New York. And I don't know when I started the house tournaments, but uh, I was desperate to do almost anything to increase business. So so that was probably right, right in the beginning. And I started out with uh, Tuesday night eight ball and Thursday night nine ball and Saturday nine ball, right from the get go. And um, <clears throat> I used various means to uh, keep players interested in that. One of the things I did was give out little improvements, uh, certificates, and I tried to make it easy for, for them to be promoted without their losing their uh, momentum. So I would use something like uh, C minus, C, and C plus. And so if they won three tournaments in a row, they would get uh, graduated only a, a half a half a step at a time. So they were handicapped events? Handicapped, yeah. Right. And I would give them a little tiny trophy to celebrate that. And it, it worked. Now you worked. also, you, your room hosted the New York State uh, tournament. Yeah. And I believe that you did it for men as well as women. That's right. I had uh, an eight ball tournament and a nine ball tournament and a straight bull tournament for for the ladies and for the men. And I had them in the summertime to keep people interested and, and uh, so that they would practice and, and not go off playing golf all day or <laughs> whatever ever other distraction they might have, and that also worked. And uh, I don't know that they were officially New York State, but I thought, well, we gotta call it something. <laughs> so that's how that came about. Um, did anybody famous ever come to your room? Oh my goodness. <laughs> like uh, in terms of a pool player, famous pool players. Uh, yeah, I know. The guys, it's, no one else was doing this, so that was a plus. And uh, let me see if I can remember uh, uh, names like uh, Jim Rempe and Hopkins and uh, Allen and, oh, Steve. Earl Pearl came one time mm -hmm. and Siegel had been there. There was a tall, really handsome man from uh, Connecticut or New Hampshire or up in there. And I can't remember what his name was, but he was good. And I also had uh, <clears throat> Irving Crane come in for an exhibition and uh, Babe Cranfield, and um, let me think. Uh, I invited uh, Moscone. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Uh, but he couldn't at the time because he was a, a, a spokesman for a table, I think it was it Brunswick? Brunswick. Brunswick, yeah. So, because I had a mixture <laughs> of uh, AMF and Brunswick, he couldn't, he couldn't come. But he did come in the room uh, when Gary Pinkowski had uh, the tournaments at the Holiday Arena, Holiday Inn Arena, and. Uh, They were all uh, pretty well known, I'd say. 
Now I understand that you were also teaching pool for a while. Yes, I uh, <clears throat> I started that as soon as as I could. But you have to remember that I w was dealing with people who could not make a ball. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be a super duper teacher. I was just trying to get people interested and uh, uh, wanting them to come back in to play and feel the, mostly mostly women because uh, nothing against guys, please don't get me wrong, but they would say as a teacher, hit the ball right there. And the poor girl <laughs> had no idea, you know, where where really to hit it and so if she made a ball, it was quite by accident. But the funny part of that, the one who was teaching her was doing it just a little bit better. <laughs> he couldn't play either. <laughs> and uh, so I would try to help them out uh, if they came in, anyone really, that I could see that was having a, a problem, I'd ask them would you like a, a pointer or two and that might help you? Oh yeah, sure, you know. And uh, that's where that came about. Now, um, you say you started out with WPBA tournaments and the WPBA has really grown over the years. Oh my goodness, yes. Right. Did you ever think that it would last that long? I mean, like, oh, what yeah. were your thoughts when you... Oh, of course. But like anything, you know, anything. It's it's hard to get it started and get it off the ground, but I could see that it was going to be okay because of the caliber of the players that were entering what few tournaments there were. And then uh, it gradually uh, came into uh, other tours that uh, would offer entry fee into the WPBA national tournaments as a prize, part of the prize, and that worked. Uh, I would usually uh, get at least 22 or 22 to 32 players, women, and. Uh, with the men, there were other uh, tournaments starting up, a couple from Syracuse, and it took a while for for the bigger ones that are being held up at uh, in Utica at uh, Turning Stone, and uh, that that evolved after a while. But in the beginning, I just held the New York State for people that I had a ma <clears throat> that I had uh, accumulated a mailing list for, and uh, they were always well received. How how long did you have the room? Well, uh, I went in there uh, December of seventy one, and. Uh, I quit, uh, let me think, uh, when I turned 80, I thought maybe it was time to quit. <laughs> I didn't want something to happen to me and <clears throat> make a big mess of, you know, the, of details for someone of my relatives or of uh, whoever would have to uh, deal with. So that's why I quit. And, um, so in that time span, do you think that there was a big improvement in the level of play for women players? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Goodness gracious. And along came Allison Fisher and Karen Coor. 
Am I saying her name right? Yes. She's not a beer. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I think it is Core, isn't it? Core. Karen Core. Core, yeah. See, I always want to make her the Core. <laughs> but she forgives me. <laughs> and uh, great names down through the the um, years. There was yourself, Billy Billy, and uh, um, <clears throat> Lloyd John, uh, Oganowski, Jones. She was there uh, when she was maybe, hmm, she would have, probably would have been 14, 11, 12, 16. What are we doing here? She was very young. 11 or 12. Mm. And of course her mother always came with her, naturally. And uh, Gloria Walker. Um, a, lot of, a lot of uh, names uh, that uh, were big as we went along. And uh, you're taxing my memory. <laughs> but yeah, it just gradually, it was increasing all the time. And and uh, actually they uh, uh, always got better uh, spectator a action when uh, when they'd play. Because for, for one thing, it was, it was nice to see them <clears throat> with so much talent and improving all the time. And uh, for the guys, I suppose it was pleasant to watch them. Ding dong, a lang, a lang, a lang, boom.